Hiya folks, uh, so continuing the, the theme of uh, the last painting, I've I've come across this, this really intriguing gateway, this Japanese Tori gate, and I've done this little doodle there in felt tip that to sort of give a composition of a, a painting that, that I'd like to do. The tones as well, so really strong tone for the gate, and then these hills and mountains in the background there. Um, and that's a more detailed drawing of the, of the Torrey Gate. Uh, so this video I'll, I'll look at how to draw that. Um, and the same as last time on, on the, the temple one we did. If you establish your eye level first, so that's where your eyes, you're, you're looking across this landscape and that's the level of your eyes. And I've simplified that top shape there into that. And so that's angling, you're looking at an image you, you, you're trying to re replicate. So you can use your pencil like that, just to get the angle. And what that's doing, it's angling down to a vanishing point, which is way over there on this eye level. And the closer these lines come to this eye level, the flatter they are. So that's a rule of thumb. Um, these buttresses, they're on a slightly different plane. So if you imagine that, the stru main structures on that plane, these buttresses are, are sort of on that plane there. So those angles go that way towards the vanishing point on this eye level, way over this way. And again, I'm not using any rulers or anything, and I'm not going to be marking you on your perspective, but... Um, your eyes usually a good judge of these things, and I think that's that's what I like to to, to use as a, as a best judge. Um, so starting with the drawing, so really simple. So that's that, and then you've got this this other structure there, looking at negative shapes as well, and then again negative shapes in between there. So we said. Those angles are going towards there. But that one and that one, they're, they're angling. I said we wouldn't get complicated, but there we go. They're angling towards this side. Right, and I'll draw that simple plane in. It's a bit like the offside reel in football, I think. I know what I mean. It's getting the point across this, the, <laughs> the hard bit. I hope that simplifies this shape, because you, you can get bogged down in the detail when you're doing stuff like this. Um, and then it's meeting the water there. It's tickled me, that. <laughs> So, there we go, going up to there, like that. that's good, right, let's get, let's, let's do some detail, so nice curved, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll use a felt tip now and then it's easier, so when you, it's a nice lovely curve on that, really interesting architecture, it's very, I suppose masculine, but there's also some really f lovely feminine details to it, and that, that's why it's intriguing. And using so more more of a stroke with, from your your elbow and your shoulder rather than fiddly little marks with with your hand. Let's move that a little bit. So that's a little, it's a little rooftop really there, and I think it comes out there as well actually on the, the image. Good, and then we've got this piece. Good. Yeah. 
It's going to be painted as quite a, a, a colourful silhouette, this, so we're not really too interested in uh, finer detail. So we've got these main columns now, which are, again, they, they look like they're, um, they're quite... They retain the, the, the original shape because it looks like they're just tree trunks that have been formed to serve a purpose there. So they're both a little bit different. They both a little, they've both got the both got the, the natural curve of the original tree that they made from. It's a bit thin there that. That's good. So now I suppose you could look at get the tops done. Do the tops of these uh, these supporting columns. And then just judging again by eye, looking at the thickness of things and negative shapes. They're quite organic as well, the, the tree trunks and, and the, the, they're quite wider at the bottom where they, t where they touch the water so again that's why we don't need a reel, it's just quite lucky. Good so it would meet the water there and on the painting you'd get this little reflection coming off there. I hope that's made sense. It's uh, it's not an easy one when you you get something quite complex like this, really. And then if I just move that away, so that's. That's all right. That's that's doing the job that I want it. So you could then put your eye level in edge of the the lake. I think it might be an in, inland sea because this this water disappears at certain times of day, and then we've got these mountains in the background. I think that'll do for the drawing. Hopefully you can get on with that and hopefully um, it makes a little bit of sense anyway and it helps you, you get your drawing right.